So a while ago, I was asked to make a sculpture out of this forked piece of ash. Um, I chose a, an osprey because I thought it worked really, really well with the pale timber. Um, and the pyrography would work really well to highlight the, the plumage markings of, of the osprey. So um, I drafted a, a sketch up just to give the client a rough idea of what uh, the bird was going to look like. Um, and th that was the basic plan that I was going to stick to. Um, I haven't done a great deal of filming on this because of uh, where this um, sculpture was situated. Uh, the tree was situated near somebody's driveway and um, there was only one place really to put a camera, which is what you can see at the moment of, of where I, I'm doing some soaring. Um, and I had to put up some scaffolding and stuff just to work at the right height. Because um, I guess it's about, uh, I don't know, eight, ten foot tall, I guess. Um, or even higher uh, from one side, it's on a bit of a bank. So it, it was quite awkward to set up and uh, I didn't want the camera to be in the way of somebody's driveway. But uh, So I just take a selection of... Um, uh, small videos and um, photos uh, during the progress of, of um, making this piece. Um, ash is quite prone to splitting as most green wood is quite uh, prone to splitting as well. I've been really really lucky um, with the weather conditions I guess. It, it, it was kind of drying as I um, cut it. I don't know whether that helped but there was only one crack that really opened up within the fork um, and I managed to timber lock that um, that part of the bird together later on um, and you'll see later on where I uh, um, put the Osmo oil on um, to preserve the bird because ash is, is not very durable it's incredibly strong and tough and hard but um, it does rot um, very easily so yeah, you, you'll see the crack later on in the film. Um, when I'm putting the oil on it, it, it definitely opens up a bit. Um, but it, it has stopped opening. So I put in two very long timber locking screws and that has held it together. The name of the oil is an Osmo oil and it's called 420. Um, it's UV resistant, it's waterproof, it has biocides in it. So be careful when you use it, but you know, that's going to stop things from eating the, uh, uh, and hopefully kill off any bacteria or fungus that, that's already attacking the, the timber. Um, I'm going to keep quiet now. I've got a, a tune, a piece of music written by and performed by Joe Percival. Um, I don't know what the name of the track is. Um, so I apologize for that. I might add it later on to the description. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of the film.
hope you enjoyed watching this film. Um, do like and subscribe to my channel I, if you enjoyed it. I put out new films all the time. I've got lots of interesting stuff coming up, um, including this buzzard here, uh, which is mounted on a piece of sandstone. And I'll talk about um, how to make your own metal feet and attach your pieces to um, different structures. If you'd like me to make you your own sculpture, um, then please uh, click onto my website. The details are on um, my page. Um, there's also a link to my Facebook page as well, and you can see some more pictures and stuff that I'm currently doing. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.